How you doing, Manginas? Thank you, Talda here. Bring you guys a commentary on uh, about uh, TV shows, and we're gonna be playing Domination on Carbon. Carbonite. Domination. Carbonite full. I don't know what that is. Uh, so we're just gonna talk about TV shows. It's gonna be a pretty relaxed one. It's kind of like a get to know me more, but it's also kind of get to know you guys more. See what kind of TV shows you guys like. So I'm gonna do my top three first, and then I'm gonna start talking about some sitcoms because my top three are actually not sitcoms. Um, they're just. They're dramas, mysteries, I don't know what they are. I don't know how to categorize them. Nope, they're not drama. Well, they're not really mysteries. Um, so, we're not going to do this in any order. I don't really know how to do my top three in order. And by the way, I'm going to name most shows on Netflix. Not all of them, especially one of them is not on Netflix. But um, uh, just because also Netflix is a really easy way to watch some shows. Ooh, actually, I still have another one I really love, another show. So, I'm going to name four shows. <laughs> I, want a number I want a number five. I can't think of a fifth one that's really there for me. Uh, so anyways, um, we'll start with Game of Thrones, and I'm not going to say any spoilers, I'm just going to kind of be like, oh, this is what it's about, this is why it's awesome, this is where you can watch it, type of thing. Um, Game of Thrones is the greatest show, I will say it's my favorite show of all time, because of how awesome, how unpredictable it is, and just overall, just like all the different characters, all the different actions. It's, it's crazy. And it's an HBO show, so they can show a lot more. Uh, it's not just like a Channel 8 Game of Thrones. Like, that probably wouldn't be as fun. You know, it's just like, I don't know. It's it's crazy. It's It reminds me of Lord of the Rings a little bit, but like way cooler. Because Lord of the Rings is a little bit more mytho mythological. Is that the right word? Yeah. I mean, this is too. It has some magic in it, but uh, not quite as much. And, um... I mean, it's a pretty obvious one. Everybody loves Game of Thrones. I really haven't met somebody who was like, yeah, Game of Thrones, like, all right. It just really didn't do it for me. And then, like, if somebody says that to you, that's the easiest way to be like, you know what, I don't want to be friends with this person. That's, like, the easiest way. Be like, yo, so what do you think about Game of Thrones? He's like, well, dude, I love it. And you're like, all right, we're besties. You know, uh, where you can watch it, you can watch it on HBO Go, um, which I think, I'm not really sure exactly if that's free or not. I don't have it. I watch it online on a um, legal website, so I'm one of those guys. Because it's like one of the most illegally downloaded um, shows of all time, which is um, quite understandably, because everybody has HBO. Um, but I don't feel good about it, mostly because it's my favorite show and I'd rather support it. So maybe I will invest in uh, HBO Go. I'll do my best to do that. Um, so my second show, like I said, this is not gonna be. These next three are not gonna be in any order. I just know Game of Thrones is my top one. Another obvious one is Breaking Bad. Uh, Breaking Bad was watched by so many people like i was like it was kind of like a big deal this last summer uh was it no was this this summer the summer before right or the winter before i don't know when it was the last eight episodes like everybody was kind of talking about it um i had enough like at first i'm like oh man my, my dad used to watch it and he, he kind of stopped watching it for some reason i don't know and so he kind of told me about it he's like yo this show's really good and i'm like what's it about he's like well it's like teacher cooks meth and i'm like yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna watch that. It just doesn't sound that interesting to me. Uh, because at the time, I was kind of going through a thing where like, I pretty much only watch shows about comedy, like only sitcoms and shit like that. I don't know why, but um, but then I started watching it and I could not stop watching it. Like, I was straight up just binge watching it for the most part. The next show I, I binge watched like crazy. Um, but this one, like, every night for dinner, I'd watch a couple episodes before I go to bed, you know? Um, because I was so behind. I was like f four or five seasons behind the show. And so it was pretty awesome. Because, you know, that's that's the best. It's when you're behind on a show, you can just watch it forever. But then when you catch up, it's like, oh, fuck. Now this is what it feels like. This is now that's what everybody's complaining about. Like, oh my god, Sunday, show up. We're ready for another episode. You know, that's what it feels like. And it really did for Breaking Bad. You can watch it on Netflix, so that's a pretty easy one. Um, this next one is Dexter. And Dexter was the show I've watched the fastest ever. Uh, I think it's like seven seasons. And I think I watched them within a month. With like three to four weeks, somewhere in that range. And like, I mean, these are hour-long episodes of however many per season. But it was just really cool to see this character develop like it did. Just like Breaking Bad too, with Walter White and stuff like that, Jesse Pinkman. Um, it was pretty cool to see them develop as well. But the Dexter character was what? what? Um, it was it was pretty it was pretty sweet. And it's one of those shows where like 
Uh, it's about a serial killer. I mean, I should I kind of tell you guys about what the show is? Like, Game of Thrones is about kind of like kingdoms that kind of are fighting for power and stuff like that. You know, some are better than there's like good guys versus bad guys type thing. There's a war going on. Breaking Bad, like I said, a meth dealer doing his problems, trying to make his business. Um, cooking some meth. Cooking some meth. Um, and so... Yo, I have to say, hopefully this isn't a spoiler. I mean, I, I don't feel that bad spoiling a show that's been so old now. Breaking Bad. Yo, when he, when he like, first is trying to sell his meth and throws it on the ground and it explodes, that was the moment I'm like, I'm watching the show forever. That was the moment while I'm like, this dude's a badass. But yeah, on to Dexter. Dexter, I have to say, it kind of fell down a little bit the last couple seasons. And the ending was not really what I expected or really wanted. Um, I kind of saw it coming in a way because they're trying to be a little bit out there and different than what people are going to do, going to expect. But the way the player, the, the character developed, I really didn't see him really doing that. But that's fine. I mean, it was, it was an ending. It was kind of a surprise ending. Uh, it kind of sucked. Kind of left a sour taste in your mouth. But regardless, regardless, the whole rest of the show was great. It was awesome. I fell in love with the show. Uh, has some awesome characters. Um, my dad was like, well, I mean, it's just like the same thing. He's just killing people. He's, he's a serial killer. Um, and he's like, so this is over and over again. He's just killing a bunch of people. Kind of. But he does it a little different. And he's like, he kills people. And that sucked. I was so mad when that happened. So I was pretty close to a, a Moab. I remember that moment. Um, but maybe like semi-close. I don't know how close I really was. Probably wasn't that close. But anyways. Um, what was I going to say? Oh. Yeah, you really kind of every kill wasn't the same. You know what I mean? It was it was different. There was different things. It's kind of he was trying to still hide because he still works uh, for like a police station type thing. He was a blood analyst, analyst or something like that. Blood blood splatter analyst, I think is what his his job was. So um, it's pretty cool. I, I I recommend that show. It's on it's on Netflix as well, so it's pretty easy to find. My last one is a British show, and that was fairly popular. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still going on. I have to check because every time I ever hear about it. It's like not happening anymore. Like the show's kind of over. But now I've seen like characters from the show and like other shows, like other famous shows. It was really cool just to see how the British people, British characters are now popping up in other shows that I watch. Um, it's called Misfits. Just Misfits, not The Misfits. It's Misfits. And it's about these. It's kind of like. It reminds me of Heroes a little bit, but like more like. Not Channel 8. It's more like, you know what I mean? There's, they, they cuss on it sometimes. Um, it's, and they have some nudity, so I'm not sure what channel it's really on in the British, in the, uh, in Britain, whatever, in the UK. And, so I'm not sure what channel on the, on the UK, or if they're, like, they're a little bit more lenient on that type of stuff. But regardless, it's an awesome show. Uh, it's funny, but it's also kind of strange and kind of weird at times. Um, it's about, like, these characters, they're in, like, some, uh, community service. They all, they all broke the law some way, and they have to do community service for however many hours, and they have to go meet up, you know, it's a whole group of them. But then this freak storm happens, and this freak storm, these crazy lightning bolts come out and sh hit them, and give them, like, different powers. And, you know, it's not like the, uh, like, normal powers. It kind of, like, goes with their personality. Their powers kind of match their personality and who they are, which is a really cool idea, you know what I mean? Like, the shy kid, I'll, I'm going to spoil this for you, the shyer, quiet kid, can turn invisible, but he can't, he, you know what I mean? He turns invisible, uh, he eventually can be able to use it and use it when he wants, but at first he just randomly turns invisible when he's feeling alone. Um, uh, stuff like that, you know what I mean? Um, it's just awesome. I didn't get to the sitcoms, I'll be another show, I guess. I'll do my top four or five sitcoms I like to watch. So let me know what your favorite shows are. They can be sitcoms too, that's fine. If you want to name my like, community, Parks and Rec, like uh, Always Sunny Philadelphia, something like that, The League. Uh, so hopefully if you guys make sure to check it out, Misfits on Hulu, say Harry's Minjar.